Good morning, everyone. So it's Sunday morning, October 9, and we are preparing our turkey to have our turkey dinner today. So what I did was I'm just making a, a spicy rub for the top of the turkey, and this is what I've used. There is no measurements. I just used my spoon and kind of spooned it out. So uh, we are using some brown sugar, some rosemary, oregano, this one is chili powder. This one is thyme. You can't really read those little stickers that I got at Dollar Tree. And this one's paprika. And then we did some uh, garlic salt. And we did some salt and pepper right there. So we're gonna rub this on the turkey and uh, that's what she looks like all mixed up. We're gonna rub this on our turkey and I'll show you what it looks right, like. We picked up one of these uh, medium sized turkeys in uh walmart and it was only 22 dollars. excellent price now i also want to show you something else here if you've never seen these these are a must when you are cooking a turkey they are called a look oven bag and you get perfect juicy taste minus the mass i use these all the time and i love them they are suitable for poultry meat fish and vegetables i only ever use it for my turkey um, so let's have a look here. So we have the turkey inside the bag. These are excellent. You have to buy these. You usually you find them over where the, um, you know, where the Ziploc bags, sandwich bags and that are, but you really have to look for them. All right. You usually get two in a pack and this is my last one. So I better buy another pack for Christmas. Anyway, uh, we've stuffed our turkey and I rubbed butter on it. We've rubbed the spice on it. And now all you do is, you wanna do this and I can still record. All we wanna do is gather this up and put the twist tie on. I'll get Sean to do that for me. And then the other thing we need to do is Cut some um, slits in the top. Just, yeah, one, that, yeah. Do about four, a couple in the back. So there we have it. And we're going to lift the whole turkey into my roaster. I've got one of these old roasters that I absolutely love. And he fits perfect, yay! <laughs> so normally I would cover it with tin foil, but I think today, because it fits, we're going to use our lid. And don't worry about putting these in the, um, the stove, in the oven, I mean, because that's what they're meant for. So there we go, we're gonna cook it covered for um maybe about four hours and i'm gonna look and you know the best thing about this is you don't have to baste it because it's in the bag in in its own juices all right so we're just waiting for the oven here to heat up i'm gonna cook it at 425 so on my uh convention bake cycle so yeah we're gonna stick it in the oven and i'll come back later to show you how she's cooking up so with these look bags, um, the other thing I forgot to mention is you do need to uh, sprinkle some flour in the bag before you put the turkey in. So the directions are all here. It says add 15 mil flour to bag to protect uh, against bursting. Shake to coat. So I had put that in already and shook it around. Um, number two, place meat in bag close bag with plastic twist tie that is provided so you saw us do that uh we cut um it says cut six uh half inch slits in top of bag place meat in large baking pan oven bag should not hang over pan so if you saw me uh, tuck it all in it's not hanging over at all and then uh you just place pan on lower, lowest rack of oven, allowing room 
Four bag to expand without touching oven walls or racks. Bake, you know, then in, like I said, you just cook it for uh, whatever the packaging says on your turkey. So yeah, we'll be back. So I'm just uh, checking on the turkey. It's been cooking for about four hours. So we're just gonna take a peek and look at how good it looks. It is, uh, that's just the spices burning a bit on the top there. But if you can look right in there, and see all the juice just in the bag. So we'll be using that to make some gravy. Yum. I'll show you what else I got up here. Push that back in. So I'm making uh, mashed potatoes. And I cut up some fresh uh, carrot and parsnip. And over here I'm boiling some Brussels sprouts, normally I uh, would roast them, but we'll save that for Christmas time. And uh, back here is some turnip. I love turnip. So yeah, I know it's a lot of food for two, but like I said, I like to prep meals uh, and freeze them so my husband can take them on the road with him. And then I'll have lots of leftovers too, so I don't have to cook. Anyways, uh... I'll uh, be back to show you the end result when he carves it. So I'm also making uh, a homemade pumpkin pie. Uh, Sean loves pumpkin pie. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'll make it for him. So I'm just using a frozen pie shell. And I just follow the uh, instructions on the back of the E.D. Uh, Smith uh, Pure Pumpkin. So on the back... Uh, Let's look at the English. Um, I just follow all these directions. So as far as spices and that go, there's uh, brown sugar in it. There's ginger and there's cinnamon. There should be nutmeg, but I can't find my nutmeg. I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Uh, the E.D. Smith, obviously, and you use Eagle Brand. And we've mixed it all up. I haven't put the Eagle Brand in yet, but I just wanted to let you see what she looks like before we add that. All right, so I just put uh, a three-quarter cup of the evaporated milk in. going to mix it all up. Sorry, I don't have my tripod here, so I have to keep uh, turning you off. Look at this. I'm just whisking it up, and look at how the color changes. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, we're going to whisk this up, and uh, I'm going to pour it in. Be right back. All righty, so I got two pies out of that because I used the... Uh, I did use the whole can of uh, ED pumpkin pie filling. Uh, you're not supposed to use like the 540 mil. It only called for, let me see if I can read this. Uh, it called for 398, but I put the whole can in. I did put a little bit extra off the Eagle brand and yeah, two pies ready to go into the oven. I will link this recipe below in case you've never made it because it is on the inside and uh, you won't know what ingredients to, to purchase, right? So I'll link that down below. I'll also link um, the rub that I put on, the spice rub that I put on the turkey. So it catches all in a bit. Started carving the turkey before I got a photo off it. But yeah, you can just pull it right out of the bag and uh, cut away. No mess. How delicious does that look? Mm. Looking forward to eating this. Sean said it's cooked up moistly. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the Prime Minister is moistly speaking. That's right, speaking. it's moistly speaking. You're making my mouth water, it looks so delicious. <laughs> Sorry if the fan was noisy on that last clip, I forgot it was on, but look at this. The pan is um, clean. That's why I love those look bags. No cleanup. He's just throwing the carcass and that in there. And here we go. This is Thanksgiving dinner 2022. I am going to be so full after this big plate full of food. I'm just going to pour some gravy on. Put some on my potatoes and we are off to enjoy. Cheers and happy Thanksgiving everybody.